Every now and again, we have the tough task of saying farewell to a member, a beloved member of our station today. That would be the one and only Brittany Baker. Woo! Brittany. Uh, I'm going to hold myself together. Today's your last day before moving to the Midwest. Yes, uh, it is. But before you go, we put this video together, people around the newsroom, people here on the morning show, uh, whose life you have impacted both professionally and personally. Um, so Aww. we just want you to know how much we love you and we'll miss you. Good morning. Well, as you're getting ready to head out for your early Tuesday morning drive, no accidents or any other. Uh, one of my first memories, she's hot. <laughs> I mean, we're just going to be honest. I mean, come on, we've all seen the prison letters. He gets a lot of prison mail. Um. We've also still got some lane closures going on both directions of I-25. They're usually just guys that want to tell her they like her work. 817's your time. We'll be right back. But first, here's Craig with what's next. Let me tell you about Miss Brittany Baker. She's been a great co-worker for the four years I've been here. She did take a little sabbatical in between where she went and groomed dogs or something for a little while. Brittany and I are on the, the repeat Fox program. We both have left and come back a couple different times. So when I first met Brittany, I was actually an intern here and she was working in the sales department. I remember when Brittany started, long she was pregnant with her daughter. And she's like moving furniture on the set. And I'm like, stop, you're pregnant, you can't do But that's just her work ethic, you know? She's just such a hardworking gal. She does so much that goes into this show. And she is the nicest person. She is so polite. Um, she's very caring. And I just wish her the ultimate success in what she does and where she goes. Oh, it's so cool! <laughs> She is multi-talented, and she she busts her hump, and she has a daughter and a great great family. So, I, I mean, she's just going to do great wherever she goes. And Brittany, she kind of starts off a little bit at first as being quiet, but then she like, hits you real hard with some off the wall funny comments, and just has you laughing. For tomorrow afternoon. Hey, Brittany, you there? Hello. Okay, you got to do traffic. Brittany comes in every day like a pack mule. She's got a backpack, this huge bag thing, her laptop. I don't know, she's usually carrying a couple other things. The stuff she carries probably weighs more than her. One day she was like, you know, she brings in all of her stuff with her usually. You know, it's like her clothes to, you know, her undergarments and all that. And she says, oh my gosh, I can't wear this bra because I'm wearing, you know, a white dress and you can see and she's like, Sarah, do you have like a bra I could borrow that's not black or that's not, you know, dark colored? And I was like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm wearing one. Should I, should I give it to you? And she was like, I, I mean, can you? So of course, you know, I would give anything off my back for Brittany. So that happened that day and it was awesome. I'm sorry, Brittany. I'm sorry. Brittany can burp like no other. In fact, on the commercial breaks, when we have a normal day, we rate each other. I never win. She can belch like a sailor, right? We like score her 10, like constantly. Brittany, she is so sweet. She is so petite, but man, can she belch. Holy cow, where, where does it come from? I have no idea. Partying, 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 partying. There's not a lot of people who can deal with the traffic cameras going down as much as they do and still be able to fill the time and keep that positive attitude like, well, maybe it'll work next time. People don't realize she does it off the cuff. None of it is scripted. She just rattles it right off. Northbound I-25 at Cimarron and also northbound I-25. That's not being read. That's her speaking extemporaneously every time. I feel a little bad for Brittany because she's always, uh, Justin's always the person right before her and so he's always saying something random. You never know what's going to come out of Justin's mouth. Oh, also, I have an update and Brittany always just takes it in stride and it goes with it and then goes on with traffic like nothing ever happens. We're the best friends, insisting that the world keeps turning our way. So I used to do the travel segments with John and we road tripped around quite a bit and four hours in a car with John is quite pleasant. Um, so I'm really glad that Brittany got the chance to experience it. We're going on a road trip, we're going on a road trip. How much longer are you going to be able to tolerate? 
tolerate me. We packed up a car, drove to Pagosa Springs, spent the night up out there, got up super early, drove to Durango, drove to Albuquerque for like four days. This girl, I don't know from Eve, you know, and we, we pack up and spend an entire week together, minute by minute, and I tell you what, I wouldn't change it. I can't imagine going with someone, spending that much time with somebody, and not at all getting upset with them. It was, it, I do get upset easy. I don't like a lot of people, but I love her. How much longer do we have in the car together? <laughs> we really just genuinely enjoy the time, or at least that I spent with her, I don't know if it's mutual. Her boyfriends don't like it. I mean, she's she's a friend. I mean, we're all family here. We're, all, we're not even friends, we're family. We're all family. So I'm losing my little sister, and that makes me extremely sad. So I've tried not to talk to her this week, even though, because I'm just trying to prepare that she's not going to be here, even though I should really cherish every single moment I have with her. So I'm going to I'm gonna miss her. I'm going to miss her so much. I think you're extremely talented. And um, I think when you go to Indianapolis, just be yourself. Be yourself, and everybody will love you. Um, you're a hard worker, and so that will always shine through. And um, I can't wait to see where you're going to be years down the road. Don't go! Yeah, I wish her the best. I'm sure she's going to be just fine, but super bummed. <laughs> I think that her hard work is going to pay off. She's going to do great no matter where she goes. And Indianapolis, I hear, is a great town, so I wish her all the best, but I'm going to miss her a lot. She's she's just cool. She's she's legit. She's she's one of those good people in life that you know you only get to run across every once in a while, and you know you don't want to see it go. Um, but you know I think we're all extremely excited for her that she's getting this opportunity to jump to a, a big market. <laughs> um, they're gonna love her. They're gonna love you, Brittany. And uh, yeah, we're gonna miss you like crazy. We'll find another editor, but like, we're not gonna find somebody that replaces who you are and what you bring to the table every single day. And I'm still kind of ticked, honestly, that you're not coming on any more road trips with me. I'm gonna have to bring like Byram. And you burp, he does something else. And I, I, I well, that looms a lot longer than your burps. Good job, Johnny. Yes, Thanks for putting that yes. together. Some fun facts about me that people maybe didn't know. Um, yeah. I gave her the Pop-Tart box earlier this morning. Already destroyed mm. the entire yeah, actually, one box. Actually, I have one right here that I was... Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, because we always feed you grapes... Uh, let me hold that for a yeah. second. Um, we get a bunch of grapes Ooh, here for you. So. Uh, you like you're, Thank you. are like, you're like the grape in our vine. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, and there's more. There's a cake. Oh my gosh, nice. Tiffany, who of course is the master. She master really is. Yes. Yeah. I don't want. I, I will drop uh, well, it. Yeah, I don't so, want to mess that up. Right. So, delicious. Crazy. Yeah, that's so. Well, we can just let's draw this out a little bit more. You're so, trying to fatten me up. What, <laughs> no, but we gotta, we gotta ask. Yeah. What 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 is something that maybe for the people that are watching this? I mean, they see you every day. You're in mm -hmm. the yeah. bedroom. You're in the living room. What 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 are what do you want them to know about, you know? You I'm more than just belching. <laughs> so. We know that. <laughs> and, and that, was, that was a lot of information out there. <laughs> yeah, seven minutes But no, this is, a, this is a great team. And yeah. We're going to miss you. I've been part of it for a long time. Yeah. And We're excited I'll, for I'll you. I'll love you guys, and I'll come back yeah. and visit, and I'll maybe do a cameo. Good. This is your hometown, so. right? So you'll it be is. back. It is. Okay. Ooh, Yay. audience likes that. I like that. <laughs> All right. 8.30 is your time. We have to actually do news and traffic and weather again. One more traffic hit from Brittany coming up in just a few minutes. <laughs>